different from what was passed. And All right. Um, Welcome back and many thanks for staying with us right here on the number one bre breakfast in the country. That is morning at NTV. We do take pride in the fact that we lose sleep to ensure that we get you this information that you really need on a weekday basis. We ensure that uh, there's no politics. When it comes to information dissemination, no, 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 no. It doesn't matter if you are from the NRM, we shall host you. From DP, National Unity Platform Party, JEMA, we shall actually host you. Uganda People's Congress, it doesn't matter if you're part of the three presidents of the UPC party. Peter Walovidi, Joseph Ocheno. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, UPC has three presidents. That's how bad the situation is within our country, including Akena himself. Well, today I'm going to be talking to Stephen David Mugole. He is the MP, Kaweri County, Chibuku District. We want to talk about the NSSF Amendment Bill. Will the servers finally be getting a smile? What do we do know uh, about the NSSF? They do have an income, or it is worth um, some 15.5 trillion Ghana shillings. That moved away from 13.5 uh, trillion Ghana shillings. That was last year. So, meaning they've been making profits. But then we did hear from Richard Biarogaba, the managing director, NSSF was saying we do not have all the money to be doled out uh, to the individuals who are supposed to be getting midterm access of 20 percent. Um, that is 902 billion Uganda shillings. He contends that this very year he was intending to pay out to members in interests. That is 932 billion Uganda shillings. So in a nutshell, if you to add those two figures, that is 1.5 trillion Uganda shillings. So how is it that a fund that is worth 15.5 trillion Uganda shillings can't cough out 1.5 trillion Uganda shillings? That's what is causing a lot of uh, uh, havoc or people talking left, right and center and scratching their heads to understand what exactly is happening happening at the NSSF. What else do we know that uh, they want to, m there's another proposal in the offing to have uh, a non-fixed 20 percent, uh, a non-fixed interest uh, from uh, uh, the Ministry of Finance, meaning uh, it would be imperative on the mi Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaide, to come out maybe in 2021 and say, no, we are giving 10 percent to the workers midterm access. We are giving uh, next year 20% or 30%, but it's not a fixed 20%. There's also the um, uh, proposal to have the Minister of Finance to oversee the whole machinations of the NSSF fund. But then workers are largely under the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Socio Development. So many convolutions that are going to be ironed out by Stephen David Mugole, the MP for Kabwedi County. He's here with me. Very good morning. All right, as you know, servers were disheartened uh, when Speaker called for a return of the bill to the House for a debate. What were your feelings at the time on this matter? Yeah, truly the feelings were, we felt this was a controversial return, mm. first of all. In the, we knew that this bill had already been concluded mm. because if you follow the constitutional provisions uh, 91 section 1 2 3 1 and abc mm. which says that uh, if the bill is passed and sent to the president the president is supposed to assent or to refuse the assent within 30 days Mm -hmm. When that was not uh, done... Honorable, I believe the viewers can't recognize you in that face mask. Your voters, you know, you, uh, you're also up for re-election in 2026, so the viewers should be able to know that is Mr. David Mogoli. And, of course, I the social you. distancing. I thank uh, you. Let's get back to the Constitution and what it says. Yeah, first mm -hmm. of all, like you've uh, introduced me, I should also mm -hmm. re-echo that you am by the name Mogoli, Mauku David Stephen, mm -hmm. Member of Parliament, mm -hmm. Kabweri Constituency. Amazing in the Kibuku district. Mm -hmm. I would like first of all to thank the people of Kabweri mm -hmm. who voted for me. Indeed. Whereas I'm a workers leader, but I went down mm -hmm. and I was elected as a member of parliament, directly elected a member of parliament, Indeed. not representing the interest group of workers. Indeed. But uh, in this debate, mm -hmm. it's because I'm the deputy chairman general of, of, of the workers of this country mm -hmm. and also the general secretary of the Uganda Hotels, Food Tours, and Supermarkets and Allied Workers Indeed. Union. Mm -hmm. So I, and I, I understand the, the issue of social security very mm -hmm. well. And I think the questions that you've raised already, mm. I can answer. So there you were sitting well amicably, well. you know, waiting for the president to ascend to the NSSF amendment bill, and then voila, Jacob Olanya says, no, 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 I'm canceling everything. Please t retable afresh. What were your feelings at the time? Very ugly. The feelings were very ugly. Mm. <laughs> because uh, we knew that uh, 
after the 30 days when the president had not, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we thought he had assented. Mm -hmm. But if he had not assented, like we knew that he had not assented, mm -hmm. and various meetings that we held and even held with the president, mm -hmm. uh, we knew that uh, the deal is just going to be returned for minor changes. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were shocked when the, uh, the, the speaker said the bill has to be sent back uh, to to be retabled afresh. Indeed. And when we looked at the constitution, we believe that this bill, even when it had not been assented to by the president, uh, but because he, the 30 days had elapsed, then it would just become law. Mm. However, because that we had met the president also, yes. and had agreed with him on some of the amendments that were brought about by the stakeholders, mm. Uh, it would be, uh, it is okay that we we change uh, some of the things within the bill. Number one, when we were handling the stakeholders' meetings, we had uh, agreed on the midterm access of which people are to access it. Mm -hmm. When it came to Parliament, Parliament made certain amends that. Uh, could give out money even to somebody who is 28 years old. How? Because we said it should have served, I mean saved for 10 years and also 45. Yeah. But Parliament said you should have saved for 10 years or made hmm. 45 years. Hmm. That meant that even an employee who, had w who started work at 18 years and has saved for 10 years at 20 years, 28 years. L let, let, let's withdraw. use a uh, live example of Romeo Busiku. I did start work in 2011. It's been 10 years. I was around 1920. So you go see, ahead. So you would be already it's been 10 years. Yeah, I qualify. You would already qualify. Mm -hmm. And with that, then the uh, NSSF mm -hmm. would not manage to handle that because it was going to almost three trillion shillings. Oh, I see. But you, you're telling us NSF wouldn't manage three trillion. Trillion a uh, fund uh, worth fifteen trillion. Yes, it wouldn't manage because not all the money with, within NSSF is liquid. Mm -hmm. Most of the money mm -hmm. is in assets and whatever is not liquid. Mm -hmm. But uh, when that bill mm -hmm. was passed by Parliament that way, yes, and it it, it was taken to the president for assent at NSSF, where I have been serving as a member on the board yes we started making adjustments mm -hmm. in the event that this bill is assented to mm -hmm. what should nssf do Indeed. and provisions have been being made mm -hmm. because i've been sitting on the committee Amazing. of finance mm -hmm. so i understand that we do have this money and the provision or with the change that people who should qualify are those of 45 years, but I've also saved for 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's not reach a trillion. It is around 900 billion. 902 billion. Yeah, yes. 902 billion mm -hmm. shillings, which is provided for. Indeed. The other thing is, not all of this money is supposed to be paid at a go. In the long term. Yes. Why? Because we have to put regulations of how that money will be paid. Mm -hmm. Number two, the provision in the law says you will be paid up to 20 percent so the regulations can even reduce so this notion of even saying that uh, we just leave it to the minister to mention to, that to to measure up and no say no no 10%, no no unacceptable 30. that one is unacceptable mm. we have already put a, a, a benchmark mm, 20%. up to 20 percent and we had even internally mm. agreed that now what do we do immediately this bill is passed mm. We have to look at the first categories of people to get this benefit. We begin with those ones who are not in employment. Because you will not be contributing at the moment. Mm. So we shall know you are 45 years, you have saved for 10 years, I'm, uh, and uh, you are now not contributing to mean you are not in employment. Mm. So if you apply for a uh, withdrawal of, uh, uh, of the midterm, then you would do be given that money as first priority. Mm. Then come to other 
categories. Because you're no longer working. You are no longer working. Because so the, you are, the, you are the, more the, vulnerable. The, because the big messaging coming in from the technocrats was that we shouldn't be doling out this money right now because it wouldn't be of use to these individuals since it is little. Let's wait for retirement. But then the question was, what if I'm not working at all? Yeah, somebody's not working and, and, at and all. I lost my job. He okay. has lost his job. Mm. And we looked at very many scenarios. Mm. If you are 45 mm. and you have lost a job, it is always very difficult for you to get another job. Indeed. Because you are towards a, a retirement. Mm. That's why we said there should be disability. Or if I'm 40 right now and I lost my job, should I wait for 45 to get my money? Yet mm. I'm dying under the pandemic. No, if you are 40 mm. and you have saved for 10 years, mm. yeah, you, you should get mid-term access. Indeed. And the rider mm. in that law mm. is that the board, in consultation with the minister, shall come up with statutory instruments and regulations to govern hmm. that for, is, is, is the principal uh, section hmm. in that new law. Hmm. Why? The, 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 what you see come out from NSSF is majorly from the oversight role of the board. The minister of finance and whatever, I have never seen anything we have proposed the three years I've been at NSSF, hmm. there is nothing the board has proposed to the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Finance has said no. I see. So that means that who is working is the board, not necessarily the Minister of Finance or, a, a, or any other. So as long as the board is of competent people, I'm assuring you the fund can run. The president wants the NSSF fund to be under the Ministry of Finance. How bad would that situation uh, turn out to be? Yeah, we had a benchmark with one of the most run social security uh, organizations in Africa, hmm. and that is the Senate of Ghana. Hmm. And we went all of us, the board, parliament, employers, and had a, a, a fair view. Because the president, uh, there was mismanagement at one time mm. of NSSF fund during the time it was under Ministry of Gender, mm. Labor, and Social Development. Not because the ministry was the one not able, mm. but because at that time workers were even not on the board. I see. I can tell you. Mm. What is happening? is because the workers are the majority members on the board. Mm. They are monitoring every single shilling where it is going. From the time we push that workers be the majority on that board, the NSSF fund has the not. The proposal coming so, in from so, the so president, does it make any sense to have this fund being managed by Minister of Finance, yet you are under the docket of Minister of Gender as well? That's why we have even proposed that mm. if government thinks that finance is the one to manage, mm. then they should change the docket of labor and call it Minister of Finance, Labor and Economic Development. I hear you. We can handle it Indeed. in whatever ministry. Mm. The labor can handle that matter in whatever ministry. but. I told you earlier that this is social security fund. Indeed. The object is mm. social security. The fund, word fund, is the subject. I, is that the so, reason why? So, so, could so, that be the reason why we are having that pull and push? Because the people running the fund do not understand it very well. Yes, there is even not a desk officer in the Ministry of Finance responsible for social security. Finance only handles finance aspects. And that's why, that's why we agreed. All the money. That's why we agreed mm. that this uh, 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 fund can be domiciled in two uh, ministries. You do understand the, what is happening here. The, do, the, the, the domicile mm. uh, policy ministry mm. is that of gender, labor, and social development. Because mm. we are a party to the treaties of UN and Indeed. ILO. Indeed. And uh, it w Uganda currently is the spokesperson of, 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 of Africa mm. in ILO. I wonder how even Uganda would speak mm. in ILO mm. if the, 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 the fund is under Ministry of Finance. I see. It should be under Ministry of Gender on Policy and then the fund to agree with the president that the, the, the investment arm of the fund can remain reporting 
to finance. And that's why we are but saying for policy, two, that's why we are seeing two chains of thought coming in from the Minister of Finance who are saying, or oh, we invested all the money, and if we are to actually pay out the 20% midterm access, would kill the fund. And you do Impossible. have the workers who are saying, no, 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 Impossible. no, 20% we are on the board, would actually kill the which fund. is us who decides so where the money goes. That's, that's a lie. Mm. We are on the board, and we have been, and even as mm. we left, mm. I can tell you in the record time. Yes. Because uh, we left on 31st August, Indeed. and on 1st September there was another board. Because by the way, our going on to that board, we went to court mm. because of Ubra trying to 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 mud sling some of us that we do not qualify to be the retirement or, or, benefits or, 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 or on the board. Mm. So when this board came uh, uh, came in place and we have brought in a new board, we have we still have members on the board. And I can tell you, as somebody who has been sitting on the NSSF mm. board and on the finance committee, that we have this money. If somebody tells you that they have to liquidate, mm. that we, we, we put in bonds, who tells you that the bonds are not maturing today? Mm. Because longer term bonds are also maturing NSSF when they start putting in bonds. Mm. Every day we put Indeed. in bonds. And every day bonds are maturing after the 10 years. And, and we don't only put in that. We have treasury bills, which takes three months, six months. It, and it, it, and it, we have liquid, in which an, comes in yeah. every month. In a nutshell, if we had the general ministry running the machinations of the NSSF fund, we, would, we, wouldn't, if, we wouldn't even be having this conversation on 20% mid -term No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Because the issue generally mm. is... Uh, finance forgets the social aspects Thank you. Mm. and looks at only the fund. That's the problem. They forget mm. the person contributing to that fund and just say, we shall give they him money, yeah. we shall give him money, we shall give him money. You wonder even when the, 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 the MD says this is not a social security fund, it is a provident fund. <laughs> Then why are you pretending <laughs> over w w uh, over social security? Indeed. Uh, why would you be called the MD of National Social Security Fund? The fact that they do not un even understand how NSF works, is that the reason why they are mooting ideas that are so unreasonable, like taxing of the benefits at the end of the day? Yeah, I, is that making any sense? Impossible, because first of all, people have been taxed for all this long. Uh, Before my money goes to NSSF, it is, it is taxed. taxed. And at the end of the day, uh, when I'm getting the lump sum, they it want it to be taxed. Even on investment, it is taxed. It, it, you see, it is taxed. So why would you tax the employer again at the end when he's getting the of money? Of course, this idea can't come from a worker's representative. It has it, to come from could, a finance. Yeah, it is right. coming from the finance because what is the role of finance? It's to make money, money in order to, 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 to handle the economy well. Indeed. So th they would look at, at that as the avenue. But what I was trying to tell you hmm. <coughs> is that N NSSF has the money. Hmm. NSSF on paying the 900 billion shillings, not all the 900 billion shillings will be paid out. Mm -hmm. Because many of the people who qualify, I'm beyond 45, in, in I've saved for more than 10 years, I'm not going to withdraw that money at I the see. moment. Hmm. You you, 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 you are not yet that age, Indeed. but very many Only people, mm. very many people are not going to withdraw Indeed. that money from NSS. Because 10 so the 900 million, 20% 20, 20 of 10 million, mm. that is 2 million Ugandan shillings. Yes. And then we do have 75% of the savers with the NSSF having less than 10 million. Yes. And 95% having less than 50 million Ugandan 50, shillings. Yes. But then still... It goes without saying that even 10,000 Uganda shillings is important during this pandemic. Wouldn't you go ahead to agree that to be true? Yeah, in fact, when we started this, the pandemic was not mm. there. By the way, the pandemic just came in uh, like to catalyze yeah. the demand. But the issue of midterm access started 10 years ago when we started this stakeholder meeting on reviewing mm. the NSSF. Mm. Uh, I remember, act. 2011. Mm. Yes. So I, I, there was no pandemic mm. then. And for us uh, as workers, we are not but only But it was more like yes. uh, ideas being whispered in the yes. corners. And, and, and it came at this. that time, mm. which we thought it, it was important. Mm. Why somebody should not continue to say that NSSF is a provident fund? The change of the current law, makes all the provisions for N uh, for NSSF to be NSSF. I see. For NSSF to be NSSF. NSSF. Mm. Because <laughs> now all uh, all the all the benefits required under social security mm. uh, will be provided for using the statutory instrument. I see. That's why 
NSSF is going to make more money. We have uh, been really brought to discuss only midterm as if it is the only aspect mm. in that act. Yet they are, we have broadened that NSSF now will receive money from private, mm. uh, uh, I, I mean informal mm. sector. It will get money from employers who are employing even one employee. So it has broadened mm. that it will bring in more money. Uh, talk so to us about the ping pong. Mm. Uh, the viewer who is watching this show is actually too confused and they're wondering what, what is happening here. The ping pong coming in from the NSSF, Richard Biarogaba coming in and saying October 4th, August 6th, and then he says, I have the, uh, I have the money. I'm going to dole it out. Then recently he comes and says, we do not have the money. And then again he says, I have the money. The issue what is, is very clear. Even the president cautioned uh, uh, Mr. Biarogaba, mm. who had set house on 30 August, yes. that, uh, please, let us try this thing out. If it fails, mm. but Mr. Biarogaba has never wanted at any one time yes. midterm access. Even Kasaija. Yes, they have never wanted midterm mm. access. Mm. And that's why we are even very sure mm. if uh, finance domiciles this, then people will never get midterm access mm. because they are not considering that. Mm. For us, we think and we know it is proper. First of all, this is one cabinet. Why would they fear to have this fund under two ministries? Go ahead. It, it, there is no problem with them having it under, under two ministries. Mm. We have seen, for example, in, in Ghana. The, the organization, the one I would call the Ubra mm, of Ghana, also is domiciled in labor and that of finance. You can imagine here, we pass a law that National Health Insurance, uh, uh, NHI, that's National Health Insurance uh, Scheme, like, like, like that, to... And there is no worker on the board. Uh, the, pro the problem with having to, um, you know, uh, uh, let, let, let me finish, and also let finance, me finish this. it could be hard for you because we do have NSF remittances coming in from abroad. What? We, abroad? Do we have remittances coming in from outside Uganda? No. Uh, uh, we have in regard to investment. Mm. In regard to investment. Mm. But w the, uh, those ones we don't call the rem remittances. Mm. The remittances are from workers. Mm. Then we are investing this money. In ventures abroad. Yes, who within East handling, Africa. Who is handling that money? Within East Africa. Is it gender or Minister of Finance? A Minister of Finance. I see. Minister of Finance. But the issue of policy, mm. to make regulations, the person who understands the worker, who is, is Minister of Gender, and when they are making these regulations, is in consultation. Is in consultation. Mm. So I don't see why we would say it should be only finance. I see. Finance cannot... Is, is the one, uh, Ubra is domiciled in finance. Mm -hmm. It's the one regulating a, a NSSF. Then again, NSSF is also in finance. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think that is not proper. Mm. Uh, even uh, the, our dear president uh, was telling us that you know, uh, some of these deals begin in finance, then they cascade into other, other, other places. Mm -hmm. We must separate uh, let's uh, address powers here. Uh, the, the president, what are the president's concerns in this bill? What does he want to see changed? What the president wants to see changed, mm. we even agreed. Number one, mm. instead of uh, uh, people accessing midterm, mm. uh, those who have made 10 years or 45, we, he needs it changed to 10 years and 45. And we agree mm. with the president. The president also said uh, the disabled. So that would exclude people like me? Yeah, that would exclu exclude people like you at the moment. But with now the regulation is but coming. But the pandemic on. is not discriminating. No, the, the, the pandemic is not saying Romeo is 45. The pandemic is not discriminating, but we are not mm. regulating for the pandemic. I see. We are not necessarily regulating 
for the pandemic. So we, if people like myself are, are not up to stay mm. in the job market, where will the remittances come from going to Pardon? the SSF? Pardon? If people like Romeo Busiku are not helped, be, uh, because largely I'm lucky that I'm still working, but there are people in my shoes who stopped working and, and are not remitting to the NSSF anymore. Shouldn't we be allowing these individuals to access this money, resuscitate their careers so that they can no, that remit that, back that, to the that would collapse the fund. You know, there was a lot Isn't of it collapsing already no, with no, the no, workers no, no, losing no, jobs? No, 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 it, is, it does not. Mm. You see, there is a lot of study. Yes. Somebody who is 45 years, in most cases, he has children who are going almost up to university. Mm. And that education is very expensive. That's why such people could access. For you, I, I, I bet you cannot have a child who is in, who is in university, mm. but you can have uh, adopted or whatever, your brother's child, but your personal child is not yet there. Indeed. Mine, mine are there. Mm. Indeed. Mine are there because I'm, I'm above 45. But I'm taking care of my siblings, my three sisters. I, I, I my understand. Family. So, in I, the respect of such a situation mm. like that one, don't now you if you are taking about, uh, about your, your, your siblings mm. and whatever, that means mm. that either your mother, your father, mm. or your brother, whose children you are taking care of, is, is above 45 and for him is going to access. So, he can. Mm. Or if he died or whatever, mm. he accessed. Mm -hmm. Because the main purpose of the fund was really, it's not a bank. I that see. you just go, bank, withdraw, bank, withdraw. This one was meant for old age. Mm. It was meant for your old age. Because it's very painful mm. if you don't have uh, earning in old age. That's why we're even saying mm. that under the regulations, mm -hmm. because you had asked me a question, I was trying to tell you what the president wants to change, yes, and yes, you asked yes. another one. Yes. <coughs> and uh, the president wants 10 years and 45, 10 years of saving mm. and 45. Yes. And we agree with the president. Okay. Number two. Number two. The president also says the issue of disability getting 75%, mm. it should also go under the regulation because we had yet not known and categorized who the disabled are mm -hmm. in regard to accessing I that see. one. And that one he is agreeing. Mm. He also says this fund should be under finance. We are still advising also the president that that is not proper mm. considering what he knows about finance. We still say this should be in both labor and finance mm. because it's a signatory to the treaties, the international treaties, mm. uh, which we abide with. He he's also saying uh, that uh, the MD should be a, a, a board member with voting rights. Right. Mm. We are saying th th that is also not proper because all other MDs, they become body members. Why do you put voting rights? I see. Yeah, but they are body members. Mm. They are the secretaries to, 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 to mm. various boards. But mm. they, they shouldn't because I've been on the board and uh, many issues come up and we sometimes tell the MD, can you go out and we discuss this mm. matter? Mm. So why would you? And where did that one come from? Mm. Uh, the only contentious issue we discussed with the president mm. when we went was the issue of midterm access. These other things, I, I, I don't know where they came from, but mm. the major issue was midterm mm. access. Yeah. You do have the MP for Fort Porter City, Irene, who is saying we should maybe increase even this percentage to 30% midterm access. Is that feasible? Even that could be feasible because what I was trying to tell mm. you, we had internally, even because the provision in the law says that you will access up to 20. Mm. The regulation can say, for example, mm. if you are having too much money, if your 20% is going to take almost 20 million shillings mm. or so, mm. the, the regulation can say, maybe for you take 10%. Mm. So even if you said 30, those people who have very little money, mm. it, it wouldn't affect that fund. Can you predict what the final bill will look like for yeah. us? The final bill, mm. I can tell you. Okay. Would you think that uh, a committee of gender, labor, and social development mm. would process a bill? Then they say we are very incompetent to be the father of this fund. Mm. This fund should go to finance. It, it, the, the committee of gender cannot accept that. I see. The committee of gender, because this is pro how can you say I'm the one processing this bill? Mm. I have the capacity to process the bill, but I don't have the capacity to do a I hear you. So, the, the end result will be that the, 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 the domicile ministries will be gender mm. and labor. We shall agree with the president 
of midterm access of up 20% mm. for 45 mm. years and also 10 uh, uh, saving mm. years. And we shall, the bill also will not give voting mm. rights mm. to <coughs> the MD, mm. but the MD will be a body member. All right, give so us those, are, those are the, 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 the few things. Mm. That there are very few changes that could mm. be made mm. in that bill because we didn't want many changes. Mm. We wanted all other regulations and changes uh, to mm. be put mm. in under the regulation. I see. If President Museveni were to approve it, you know, after everything is done with, um, what do you think the minister will implement at this signing of this bill and uh, give Severs a smile? Pardon? When do you think the minister will sign the implementing laws and give the savers a smile on their faces? As soon as immediately, because this this has been agreed. Yes. I, I can I can assure you when that bill goes back to the president, I suppose that the president this time will just assent to it. Mm. Because we had agreed. In a month in or two? Principle. In a month or two, or even in three, four days after the bill has gone back to him. Mm. Because most of the things that he has suggested... Mm we are in agreement with him. Mm. I'm a, mem a member of the NER. Mm. I, 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 I'm not, you know, and with the I mm. this issue of social security, mm. I'm a strong member of NERM mm. in, in, in the parliament, I'm a, in the caucus and everything, but in this particular mm. area, that is our advice. Mm. All right, Stephen David Mugole, MP Kabwere County in Chibuku District. Thank you very much for coming through and actually shining a light on the machinations of the NSSF. You and I agree that we need one overseer of this fan because if we are making investments in other countries, we need someone overseeing that. If it is finance, then there will be convolutions because the gender ministry is actually blind. You're, you're not knowing how much is being invested outside of Uganda, how much is it coming back to the country, not, not and so forth. Not All right, thank you very much for coming through. Not